Hello friends, so today in this video, we're gonna actually discuss the first two problems from the latest code forces round 713 problem name do not to be distracted. So as you can see in this problem, you are actually given a string consisting of different capital letters. Okay, now this one letter actually defines out some task. Okay, so uh, the problem statement actually asks you to like to complete one task fully and then go to the next task so as you can see you have like you have been doing dd so you have been doing the d task you like for let's assume that the first time you're completing d the d task the second time you're completing the d task then you complete the d task and you go to the b task okay so then you go then you do two hours b task then you do three hours c task but you now again do two hours b task which is not good because you have to complete all the tasks in one go only so as you can see in this also like this is also not good because you are again doing this a again uh, this is correct because you are doing first f task it is completed then f then z then y so you are actually given that or you are asked that whether like the string is good or not good means that you have first completed all the tasks and then you move down to the next task the the task which was already done do not be repeated out so what you can easily do here is just keep track of whatever task you have already done okay so let's assume that just match your current task with the previous task if they are same which means that okay you are you are continuously doing the same task if you are like if you are doing in this the first task is f so mark that i have been doing first task till now and then match the second task with the first task like it is like uh, matching the current task with the previous task it actually tells you that whether the car task is continuously going on whether the whenever the task is changed as you can see now i am matching the g with f and now it means that the task is changed when the task is changed so it means that new task has started out so mark this g in the array like some uh, array you can maintain whatever task you have already completed so you have already done f now you have been starting g then you start z and now in the end you just start y if the process ends without you doing the same task again then the answer is yes else the answer is no so as you can see i'll show you the code part now uh, so as you can see in this uh, what we have to do here is we can store all the like this is like a map because there are 26, 26 characters of the all the like cal, like capital cal, like alphabets so you just mark the first task as one which means that because i'm doing the first task now then start from the second index and like match that whether the current index is equal to the previous index if they are same then continue it because we are keep on doing the same task if they are different what i mean by this is like now i have reached the point in which my task is different now i will check that the task on which i am if it matches the previous task i have already done if it is already done then as you can see i can check this in this frequency map like in this table if it was already done, done because it was marked one so it will be greater than zero so then the answer is no because i am doing a task which was already done else if it was not done i will mark out this to be one because now i started doing this task and then if this whole for loops exited by without touching this if condition and the answer is yes okay then the second problem is ordinary numbers as you can see in this problem you are asked or you are actually asked to find out how many ordinary numbers are there between 1 and n and the ordinary numbers are those numbers in which all the digits are same so whenever a number is there as you can see if all the digits are same 1 or 2 or 9 9 or like 5 times 9 if a number is there in which all the uh, digits are same then that is an ordinary number you have to find out how many numbers are ordinary between 1 and n now what you can easily see here is like the constraints are actually 10 to 9 but what you can see here is can you find out how many ordinary numbers are there so let's assume that if i want to find out all the ordinary numbers of digit 1 then the number can be 1 or 1 1 or 1 1 1 so on up to 9 time ones because like the maximum number can be uh, 10 to the power uh, 9 so the maximum can be 9 time ones like it is already more than that but still it so 10 to the power like 9 time ones is the maximum value and you can do the same thing for like 2 2 so the you can add 2 then again 2 and again 2 you just have to check that whether this number is less than n which means that okay it is between 1 and n if you just check that you can create every possible ordinary number because all the ordinary numbers of 1s are 9 like there are 9 numbers then for 2 there are 9 so because there are uh, if there are 9 digits like because 1 till 9 and there are 9 numbers for everything it is a very small number 81 so there are total of 81 ordinary numbers so you can just check that 
among all the 81 ordinary num or like ordinary numbers what ordinary numbers are between or like smaller than equal to n if they are in this range then the answer is like you can find out a total number of ordinary numbers and then like print out that answer that's what we are going to do in this problem uh, as you can see it's a very small code just iterate over every possible number from 1 till 9 you just take out every digit this is x for making all those numbers so then because you have to make all those like 10 numbers so start from 1 till 10 which is like and just what you'll do for the starting position it is like just appending 9 like when you start from 1 the first number is 1 then the next number is 1 1 the next number is 1 1 1 and so on and we just check that whether that x is less than equal to 1 if it is less than equal to 1 you just increment the total and then after the total i hope you understand the two problems if you still have any doubts you can mention out as an experimental then keep coding and bye